If we could travel at one light year per second, where would we end up? The speed of light, the known limit for object motion, is about 300,000 kilometers per second. If we could reach the speed of light and go around the Earth seven times in a second. So let's speed it up to one light year per second. That way, you could fly out of the solar system in a second. Four seconds into the flight, we came to the nearest star to Earth, Proxima Centauri, a three-star system that is the home of Trisolarin Man. When we fly for eight seconds, we reach Sirius, the brightest star in the night sky. After 10 minutes of flight, we arrive at Kepler-22b, the most hospitable exoplanet for human life. But with our current technology, it would take us more than 10 million years to get there. Two hours into the flight, we arrived at the magnificent pillar of creation. So beautiful that it was named one of the Hubble Space Telescope's top 10 images. After five hours of flight, we came to the largest known star, Stevenson 218, which has a radius of 2,158 times that of the Sun, and can hold 10 billion suns or 130 trillion Earths. After a day's flight, you'll pop out of the Milky Way, and you'll see the whole galaxy before our eyes. After 29 days of flight, we came to Andromeda, the nearest galaxy to the Milky Way, which is much larger and is expected to collide with the Milky Way in 4 billion years. After 115 days of the flight, we reached the outskirts of the local group of 50 galaxies, including the Milky Way and Andromeda. After three years of flight, it turns out that the local group is just part of a much larger cluster of galaxies, the female supercluster, when after 16 years of flight, we finally flew out of the feathery Rayleigh supercluster. The Milky Way was just a speck on the feather. After more than 100 years of flying, we finally arrived at the largest known black hole, Ton 618, a terrifying object with a massive 66 billion solar masses. After more than 1,000 years of flight, we reached our final destination, the known observable edge of the universe, which is about 46.5 billion light years from Earth. But that's not the actual edge of the universe, just as far as we can see. Some scientists think there may still be a vast expanse of space beyond, even at such high speeds. We can't touch the physical edge of the universe. It is conceivable that the human in the whole universe is how small.